Hey there, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa DeBerlay. Today I'm going to show you where to find free stock images, which photos and videos, uh, sometimes you're just looking for a picture of a heart and you go to Google it and you pull it up and it says there's a copyright issue. I'm going to show you four different places that you can go to find photos that you can use without having to worry about copyright issues. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before we get started. Um, I'd really appreciate that. I'll show you how to get your YouTube channel started and lots of tips and tricks just like this. The first place we're going to go to is called pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. You pull up the screen and you just go in and let's search for something. All right, so trucks. We're going to search for trucks. And there you go. All of these photos that you see are free. They're all different trucks. You might start getting more explicit if you want construction trucks or something like that, but that gives you an idea of what you can get. Now, what I love about Pexels, and that's why I brought it up first, is you can also get free B-roll, which is just free videos. Obviously, the best way to get your free videos and your free pictures is just to take them yourself. But obviously you don't you, you don't have access to everything that you want you want you might want a waterfall some rushing water or something like that but these are videos that you can get where, which are all about trucks let's try waterfalls and see what pops up and there you go you have all these waterfalls um, each of them are different lengths of time and you can always add audio to them if there's no audio with them so pexels.com number one choice another one i found is called flickr.com there's trucks that i've already brought up here all kinds of pictures of different trucks you can do military trucks construction trucks old time antique trucks so if you want to be more explicit like i said then just type that in but all of these pictures are free to use you can download them put them on your videos and there's no copyright issues. Next one is Adobe free stock. So I just went in and Googled free images, free stock photos, Adobe popped up. There's lots of other ones, but again, these are free stock assets. They tell you that right here. Now, obviously if you go use something like Adobe, they're going to try to sell you some images. Sometimes I don't use Adobe because sometimes they'll give you, they'll mix a really good picture in with the others and then you'll want that one. And then they'll go, oh, wait a minute, that one was for sale. So I don't like that because it gets frustrating when you're just trying to find something. I don't have that problem with Pexels. So I personally would recommend Pexels. Um, and I've been very satisfied with them. But anyway, you can get some from here as well. And vectors as well. Um, they're all right here. Now, this, my fourth way, is the probably going to be your easiest thing to do. Let's say you are looking for an image. Let's just write... Uh, image of or clip art let's look for clip art okay clip art of heart of a heart and all this clip art is going to come up we're going to go to images now this is where a lot of people make mistakes they think just because they googled all these images they can use them these some of these have copyright issues and you might say well all it is is a heart colored in red anybody can make that that's true but some people have a copyright to them. What do you do? How do you find out if I can use these? Go over here to tools and go under usage rights. Right now, all of them are shown, but we're gonna go to creative commons. Those are free. Now your choices might not be as huge, but any of these hearts that you see here, you can use for free and there are no copyright issues. Let's bring up something different. Um, Oh, I meant to write clip art, but I just put clip. Um, let's say clip art of superheroes, okay? And again, look how many cool options we have, but we cannot use all of them. Let's go to tools. I don't even look at them until I go to the free ones because you'll get disappointed sometimes. Obviously, some of the good ones aren't, aren't free for you to use. And here you go all of these are free and that's not bad there's lots of cool things in here so you're welcome even this family they they have you're allowed to use it so make sure again i'm going to show you because i just want to make sure you're aware that you pick the creative commons license and that's free you're allowed to use that clip art now once you download 
the clip art onto your desktop, sometimes you might want to remove the background. Let's say you wanted to use this picture right here of this family. They're obviously saying you can use it. Or let's say, let's pick a different one. Let's say you want to use this guy right here, okay? Um, it's, it's a balloon and there's some trees behind it, but you don't want the trees in the background. Look above. I've got a video that shows you how to remove the background. You can do that on any picture. It will remove it. It's very easy. So make sure you check out that video as well. And there you have it. Four different ways that you can get free stock images and use them on your videos, on your website, in your emails, wherever you want. They're free. But make sure you take the time to make sure you don't use something that has a copyright to it because you can get shut down for that. All right. Hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments and I will see you on the next video.